welcome if you're new welcome if you came back welcome 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 my name is francine and on this channel we talk about personal finances whether that is creating a budget getting out of debt or saving for a better future today as you can see as you can see i have two broken nails yes i know i know i know i can't get an appointment right now so we're just gonna have to look like this until further notice and my um acetone isn't coming anytime soon because you know back up so i can't even get a soap bar but that's not why we're here do you see why we're here 2021 financial goals we are here to set up my 2020 financial goals make sure that my goals are smart that means they are specific measurable attainable relevant and time based so we are going to ensure that everything i put on this piece of paper can be tracked can be measurable can have a data source right so if you are interested in this sticker, the washi strip is from Mama's Got a Budget. She had her uh, Black Friday sale. If you want to see the haul that I did for her, really her products, if you want to see the haul that I did for her products, click the eye in the sky over there. It will take you to my 2021 sinking fund goals. Girl, we are doing goals on top of goals on top of goals okay we're making sure that we are aligning ourselves the best way we can for the new years because this year has been crazy but it has been filled with blessings and i know if i organize myself a little bit more i can have more blessings right and that's what we that's what we're trying to do here we're trying to align our pockets our money so that our money can work for us okay so this sticker right here is a freebie that i will be giving out for the month of january until january is done anything that you purchase whether it is a breakdown card whether it is a sticker kit whether it is a expense tracker a sinking fund tracker anything that you purchase any savings challenges that you purchase <laughs> this will be attached to it okay unless it's a digital download unfortunately i cannot ship this with a digital download it has to be something physical so whatever physical item you purchase you will get this in your package for free we setting we setting y'all up girl we making sure that you are good right so we have this and this and as you can obviously see we use that these are the product that products that we will be using for this video right here right her i like it when you do me like her or like her <laughs> okay so we use the title and i want to add this little bottom mm, should i put the bottom piece there Cause I want to have like a little tagline like that's cute may all your goals be smart oh, well I did it so I guess that's where we doing it all right cool that is completely cute so a financial goal is different from a regular goal it has the same meaning it has the same value but this is strictly about the financial area of your life whether what money can give you or what you can do to make money okay so just that was just my disclosure just in case if any of you were wondering why is everything has to do with money because this is a financial goal so let's go on this ride with filling out my financial goal give me a moment i need my tweezers because these are really small this is from mama's got a budget she this is her january limited edition as i said her black friday sale was all of her limited editions um you can purchase before it will no longer make her appearance again so your girl stocked up <laughs> so yeah give me a moment let me get my tweezers so now that we got that done out the way, let's just 
bring you in, bring you in, bring you in, and bring you in. So as you know, if you don't, if you're new, welcome to my channel. Like I said, welcome. <laughs> and uh, you may not know my history, right? I have worked in retail for a majority part of my YouTube career. Um, then I changed careers into and basically got a pay cut. <laughs> basically got a pay cut to work at a after school program um, because of the flexibility it gave me so I, could, I was able to finish my college because I was in college majority of my time on YouTube. And going through this experience of getting better with my finances. So being that I was trying to get better at my finances, I was just going through trials and error and seeing what worked for me, what doesn't work for me, how can I tweak a budget to where I'm happy, fulfilled, and getting what I need to get done. So I wasn't really necessarily thinking about paying off debt. I was conscious about using my debt. However, I found myself in the negative <laughs> for a good chunk of time before we was in quarantine. Before the panorama came. Uh, but luckily, with the assistance, I was able to get out of the negative in my credit card and really start pushing to save, to get rid of debt. However, that wasn't my main focus for 2020. My main focus was just to get my footing right in the budgeting world, be more financial literate. So if you go back to my old videos, you'll see I talk a lot about financial literacy because that is something that I was not privy to. <laughs> I wasn't privy to. I didn't have that in school. I didn't have that besides just save your money <laughs> in a personal life, in various relationships. It was the topic of money was always just save your money. Okay, but how? How? How, sis? How? So my goal was for 2021. But 2020 was to make sure that I am able to create a budget, stick to a budget, have that discipline, know how to do a budget, um, and see some small wins. And my, one of my small but very big win was saving for my first car in cash. <laughs> in cash, honey. If you want to see that video of me counting all of the money that I saved, definitely check the eye in the sky. Um, and if you want to see the journey of that, obviously you would go through the old videos. Um, so yeah, the new goal, first goal of 2021 is to pay off my consumer debts, which is the credit card debt. Currently I have student loan debt because I am in a graduate program. However, I did not have student loan debt for my undergraduate program. So I was blessed and highly favored because I paid cash from my school. If financial aid did not cover that amount, I just paid, say if, let's say if they said financial aid didn't pay cover, eh, let's say financial aid didn't cover all of my expenses um for college i would have to pay let's say let's say the remaining was 500 dollars. i would save up 500 dollars for my job and pay that 500 that 500 dollars or i'll pay in increments or let's say if it's like a thousand dollars i'll save up and probably my, my um mother would help me which is a blessing <laughs> sometimes she would like I don't ask for help that's one thing about me I will never ask for financial help like at all I rather do it myself because I find more pride in being able to say hey I did this with my money <laughs> um so there'll be times where I'll be you know just sitting home doing school and she'll be like did how like do you have to pay for school and I'll be like yeah and she'll be like how much and I'll tell her the price and she'll give me the money However, not to say that I wasn't saving to pay it off, but oh gosh, let me tell you, one time I had a bill and I was like, how am I going to pay this? How am I going to pay this? But 
needless to say, that was like one of the times she did ask and I did say, hey, I, I need this much. And um, yeah, and then that's, that's a good, that's great. The fact that I was able to go and graduate with my undergrad with no student loan. However, graduate school is a different situation. You don't get financial aid for graduate school in the sense of free grants. You get financial aid for loans, <laughs> for student loans. So, I mean, I could, uh, I could try to get a scholarship, but that's another conversation for another day. Actually, yeah, and we can talk about that later. But my first, like I said, my first goal is to pay off my consumer debt. So I'm going to write, pay off 90% or more of my credit of my credit card um and then remember we have to make sure that it's measurable and it's time based t and smart stands for time based so when do i want this done by i want it done by realistically end of the year but my main main goal is june by june i want to pay off my debt so this is very ambitious of me <laughs> i'm gonna say june when i drafted this i said end of the year but i'm gonna say june by june Twenty. Whoa, thirty. What are you saying, girl? What are you saying? Twenty. Twenty-one. That looks ugly. I'll fix it off camera. But by twenty twenty-one is when I want to finish my credit card debt. I currently have a plan. In order to do that, I would have to give 1K a month to my credit card debt, um, which is doable, which is a stretch, but can technically be doable. Um, all my savings challenge that I will be doing will be adding to that debt. <laughs> so a way that I will be able to do it, which is measurable, obtainable, um, time-based, specific, the way a way that I can do this is by doing savings challenges. Um, doing and um, side hustles. So this can be um, my Etsy, this can be Uber Eats, this can be selling clothes. Um, and this can also be any income I get from this platform that can go towards this debt, honey. So first go, pay off 90% or more of my credit card debt by June, 2021. Doing savings challenge and side hustle. So the way that I can obtain that is these two steps. Now we're gonna go to the next go. These are cute, like, it's like see-through but not completely clear. All right, so, the next one is 
going to be Etsy related, side hustle related. If you don't know, I have a shop named Free Port Creation. I sell anything associated with budgeting, whether it is stickers, whether it is cash envelopes. We have we got them clear cash envelopes, honey, and we also have the non-clear ones for people that are, don't really care for the clear ones. Um and we also have savings challenges. So some savings challenges that I will be doing will be from the shop. And if you want to do the saving challenge along with me, definitely get them ASAP. Your girl, your girl is prepared, ready for all of y'all to succeed in your savings. So um, being that I do have an Etsy shop, I do want to make financial goals for myself for these for this shop, making sure that I'm hitting my target because at the end of the day if you haven't watched five seven things i wish i knew before starting a business um your girl needs to get out of her shell start talking about her herself in that way promoting herself in different ways that she hasn't um so this is a financial goal for me to make sure that ba -da 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 -da, i want to make at least the very least 3k in etsy this current year the year is about to end i'm about to close the year with i believe 1k so i want to at least make 3000 so do i want to put actually write out thousand or do i want to say k 3k no i'm gonna do that it's more personal like i'm writing it out like i'm i'm making sure that i am completely manifesting it <laughs> because 3k like what if i just get 3k like three boards that say k like what no <laughs> this is how uh, my mind works sometimes okay so i want to make at least three thousand plus um in etsy revenue revenue where do i keep going over these words okay now i gotta go over all of them or are they all going this whole word gonna look crazy so the reason why i say 3k because i know i have the capability of doing so looking at my year analytics for etsy i've made one thousand dollars plus and for a year to some that's like that's not that's not a lot of money for a whole year that's like one month of my paycheck but to come from nothing and to have 1k a whole year like that to me is a blessing like a blessing to me um some of the reasons why can be contributed to the fact that one etsy brought 80 percent of my customers to me and i didn't bring much customers through social media so that can be either youtube that can be either instagram that can be either um any in any social media platform google i didn't bring that etsy did which is i'm grateful for that but however how am i limiting the growth of my business how am i contributing to the work that i get i'm putting in the most work that i can so when i evaluate that i'm like i'm i'm not why because i don't really talk about my business that much besides here the instagram isn't as active as it should and i know how to make sure instagram is active i have the tools i have the i have the capability of that but because I'm a shy individual and I'm very modest, I don't like to talk about what I have, which is why you never really knew how much I make from Etsy. Um, I never really did a budget with me for Etsy um, or my side hustles. I'm very, I'm completely modest. I can show my paycheck because, hey, this is my career. You can look up where I'm, where I'm at. You can see what typically is created from these people from this, this job career um i sounded like megan the style like, ah, i'm a savage 
<laughs> but when it comes to something that I am actually putting in the work for, I'm a little shy, I'm a little modest. Um, not to say I don't put in work at work because obviously I, I went through five years of undergrad to, to be where I'm at and all that. Da, 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 da. I really work for what I do and I'm proud of what I do and I should not be as modest as I am because that's only contributed to the detriment and the slow growth of my establishment. So in order to get that, I had to understand that I need to make sure that I need to bring in people, turn the 16% into a 50%, okay? Like, I'm not saying I want all of my customers to come from my various social medias. I feel that, <clears throat> listen to me with this, I feel like it should at least feel 50-50. So, um, by increasing Okay. By increasing how people find free procreation from 19% to 50% from me by, and then I'm just gonna put another arrow, by posting on Instagram two times a week. I feel like that's easy. Then increase it as time. By list doing monthly releases. So this is how I feel like I can increase my my traffic on my state on my end when it comes to social media, uh, but also improve my tags. Because sometimes I'll post a, a a listing and I don't invest some time into the tag area, which I'll do a video all about my Etsy journey and um, all of that. I just noticed that a lot of people don't watch my Etsy vlogs, but I will do it because I feel like that's still something I should do to document myself for a personal reason. And for those that are interested in it, you can come along the journey with me. Save. up to 15% of my income. Okay, so um, this goal is save up to 15%, up to 15% of my income to house savings. As you may or may not know, I am looking to own a home. Um, so that means I need home money, which also ties in credit card. Because why, if I eliminate my credit card, minimize it, eliminate it, because obviously I'm still gonna have debt because of student loans. Um, my goal is to completely raise my credit score. It's not bad, it's actually pretty good um, for where I'm at right now. Uh, and then buy a home like but in order to buy a home you need money honey if i save 15 percent of my income i can be able to get that home of mine whether it's build or just buy and renovate i would love to have a home fund and that is something that i have already it's nothing new if you seen my budget, you have seen me save for my home. Uh, it hasn't been in cash in any cash stuffing videos because I don't save cash for my home. I transfer that over. I need to get, if I was to get a home by the end of 2021, I need a good chunk of money. 
but however i can overlook not fully getting that chunk of money because unless i completely eliminate this consumer debt because obviously we have a you know what let's not put limitation to my money let's not put a limitation to how much we can make in 2021 because we're gonna do great i was oh i almost said i only have such a limited amount of money when actuality i do not i have endless amounts of money and i can have it all so once i get this down and also increase this whatever money i was paying for this i can just add it on to that it's like a snowball effect but with my goals right save up to 15 percent of my income to house savings i don't really have a finite amount that i want to save towards um because the real amount that i need to save towards is going to take some work and putting it there is just going to stress me out but knowing that okay if i do this i'm going to hit my goal right this is not going to be a traditional smart goal because i just want to put this on my radar i used to do this at my retail job that i used to work because they had an automatic system where you are able to donate money to different causes and it'll automatically take it out your paycheck and the feeling of donating to different causes that I truly believe in really made me feel happy because it made me feel like I was helping the change that I wanted to see, whether it be with money and not my time. Because community service is yes, you're, don you're creating the change with your actual physical labor, where donating is you get, you're pushing towards change with the actual funds that these organizations need. So I want to do more donating because 2020, I didn't do a lot of community service look at all because the panoramic and we're not gonna get sick <laughs> but I also didn't donate which freaking sucks so much money um did I did I no 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 lie lie I did donate but it wasn't as much as I normally do because of that unable to instantly take out that money from your paycheck and it just automatically goes to where you want to go my goal is to donate once a month so if i donate once a month that means i'm donating to 12 times a year whether it be five dollars ten dollars twenty dollars a hundred dollars right any amount counts but i want to make sure that i have that in my radar that it is once well that's supposed to be once girl what <laughs> girl you just writing huh this is why we don't talk while we write okay so donate once a month we just gonna act like this say once this is once, girl. I don't know what you say. You see a one? Girl, that's a once. <laughs> but we definitely donating once a month. So that means 12 months. So that can either be 12 different organizations. Or that can be just one good organization that I love. And that I will continue to donate to. So this goal right here. Right here. Is. I want to go out the country. I don't care if it's in Cancun. I don't care if it's in Jamaica, I don't care if it's in Haiti, I don't care if it's in the Bahama, I don't care if it's Canada. I just want to get out of this country. So, once again, not really going to be a full-fledged smart goal because I just want to put this on my radar. I just want to keep looking at it and be like, girl, you know you want to get out of this country. You know you want to travel. So do what you got to do. So, this goal is to... go so go on one trip outside of the country just want to go on one con one trip just one i'm not asking for too much i'm not asking for too much 
But in order to do that, I have to get my passport. <laughs> This is basically my list for my financial goals for 2021. I wanted to make sure that all my goals was SMART, which is which stands for <laughs> Specific, Measurable, Obtainable, Relevant, Time-Based. These are my financial goals. I hope you have learned something in goal setting through watching this video. I hope maybe my goals have inspired you to kickstart your 2021 financial goals or just in general, your goals in overall. Uh, you know this is a time for vision board. We'll have a video describing and showing how I do my digital vision board, my phone screen uh, visual vision board, along with a physical um, vision board. So three for the three wonderful types of people in this world who prefer different things. So I will definitely see you in the next video. I hope you had a wonderful holiday and an amazing, amazing 2021.